Hey, it's Scott Kubo. There's a lot of videos out there showing autopilot in the open highway or on surface roads. Uh, but here's a short little video showing what it's like to drive with autopilot in moderately heavy traffic. This is your typical Los Angeles traffic. Okay, so we'll be driving on Highway 101 North from downtown Los Angeles towards Hollywood. It's a curved on-ramp and we'll tap down twice on the drive stock to engage autopilot and you'll hear the chime. And then you can see it's handling this curve appropriately and tracking the vehicle ahead of us, as well as this truck that's uh, merging in as well. Now we already have navigate on autopilot on, so when it detects that it's on the highway by GPS, you'll hear the chime and the two lane lines turn into a blue single line to indicate the driving path. And autopilot wants to change lanes to the left and it asks for confirmation and we do this by using the turn signal indicator and it starts to move over but you can see these two lanes merge into one so it needs to cancel that lane change and center itself in the current lane autopilot still needs to get over to the left but there's a car in the way as indicated by the red line and so it will wait till that path is clear and then start moving over uh, but that vehicle creeps back into our blind spot and there's a abrupt swerve back to the right and then when the path is clear, it does go back to completing that lane change. Now, aborting that lane change by swerving to the right is a little bit unnatural and unnerving, but of course, Autopilot is just trying to follow its driving. 500 um, feet, keep left to stay on US 101 North. Follow its driving policy of staying centered in the lane. I hope in the future, Autopilot will act a little more naturally. Instead of swerving back to the right, it'll just pause there at the edge of the lane and wait for the path to clear before continuing on. Or if the car on the left continues to overtake, then autopilot will recenter to give way. Now this van on the left is going to cut in and you can see as it crosses over now the line, autopilot slows water down water just water gradually water. to let it in and starts tracking and pacing speed with it. It speeds up, but does so gradually to allow some distance in between the two vehicles. Um, this is very, safe and would make a driving instructor proud but a lot of people complain that autopilot should slow, uh, speed up a lot faster because of course people drive pretty aggressively uh, in many parts of the world uh, including Los Angeles of course. Now here autopilot wants to change lanes to the left again but of course there's a vehicle in the way so it won't. Uh, there again is the red line indicating the blind spot and I tend to wait a little bit to confirm this because there's really no point yet in turning on the turn signal uh, but when you do it starts tracking as you can see the van in its current lane and the Porsche in the target lane and makes a pretty decisive and very natural move over and then of course turns off the uh, turn signal now at high speeds, it tends to be rather cautious and gradual in terms of making these decisions to change lanes, but at low speeds, it's quite decisive, quick, and uh, pretty natural actually. So we'll speed up as traffic uh, opens up and speeds up. Uh, you can see that there's a decent amount of distance in between the car ahead of us. I use uh, distance setting uh, in the medium range uh, but even if you move it all the way up as close as possible, there still keeps it still keeps about a one to two car length distance between you and the vehicle ahead of it at these low speeds. Now when another vehicle crosses into your lane, autopilot really doesn't start slowing down until that vehicle crosses over the line. I'd like to see autopilot be able to predict the path of vehicles or see turn signal. Now we know soon autopilot will start changing lanes without requiring confirmation. I'm really excited about that. It'll also be interesting to see if other improvements come along with that update as well. And of course, I can't wait to make some cool videos uh, showing that. Well, it looks like uh, traffic is speeding up, so that'll about do it. When traffic is really dense, autopilot really struggles because it's just not aggressive enough to nudge itself into these uh, lanes. But as you've just seen, when there's about two car lengths between vehicles, autopilot does quite well. If you found my videos helpful in researching to purchase a new Tesla, click on the link to find out how you can get free supercharging. That offer from Tesla ends February 1st, so don't delay. Big thank you to all those who did in the last couple of months. I've enjoyed having you along for a drive. Have a really great day, and see you next time.